Singularity Net is not just about creating and developing artificial general intelligence. It's also about making it beneficial to humanity. And in order to do that, we believe everybody should always have access to this artificial general intelligence. Therefore, we believe in decentralization, not just of our technical platform, but also of the governance processes of the foundation itself. Why decentralization is important is because we are sort of hitting the place where we well, not heating, but we're entering the place where all our social technological systems become complex systems, which would basically, in systemic, we cannot govern by control system perspective. But there couldn't be one, one, let's say, entity which governs everything or understands everything. In a centralized system, you can go in a decisive, efficient manner uh, pursuing the wrong goal. Uh, but uh, since we have the expectation of uh, such a positive outcome uh, from the powerful deployment of our technologies, very importantly, artificial intelligence, we cannot afford to just rely on one direction. That is why the multitude of decentralized approaches uh, is a better um, uh, strategy to actually find what works. I think that decentralization is really the key to getting truly diverse data sets for biomedical research. I think decentralization um, can lend itself to creating better healthcare systems for everybody in the, in the world because we can finally reach all the different corners of the earth and get data from those individuals where in the past, um, drug research trials, pharmaceutical research trials have really been limited to um, the, the rich and white. And I'm looking forward to decentralization as helping alleviate that bias in biomedical research. It's important because, you know, uh, uh, people need to get involved in things that uh, eventually or even immediately matter uh, in their day-to-day -day business whether it's a technology platform or a, govern, a typical traditional government platform or anything, uh, decentralization matters because we need to have uh, a say in these things because, you know, in the long run, they are going to affect our life. Uh, they are going to shape the way we think. Decentralization is important because it ensures that the views and needs of uh, many people from diverse cultures, backgrounds and situations are included in the I guess, reshaping of uh, society and this stimulation of beneficial artificial general intelligence. Um, in order for HI to be truly beneficial uh, for all people, we need the input of all people and not just uh, select sub uh, subsets. I believe that, uh, well, the way forward is to somehow collaborate within this space. So, of course, there is certain, not exactly competition, but alternative technologies, alternative thoughts, alternative methods, whether it's systemic, et cetera, and so forth. But the important thing is to share this knowledge so that we can reuse each other's, whether it's technology or basically blueprints, uh, again, systemic principles. When putting together a clinical trial, for example, having the input of our community will be very valuable. They will undoubtedly come up with ideas that I haven't thought of before. And um, the particular projects that they will be willing to contribute their data to will also let us know what should be of the highest priority for our research and for the creation of beneficial products for people's health and longevity. And uh, it is, for me, very exciting and interesting to imagine what it would like, uh, what it would look like if uh, an organization like Singularity Net, that is already uh, fully remote, uh, also ask itself, how could the executive function be disrupted and decentralized uh, based on novel principles of uh, uh, empowerment? and uh, uh, governance and 
I am really looking forward for that to be uh, the case. Because as we know, this isn't an easy thing. Otherwise, it would already be in play and we'd have oh, this amazing system already here. Strain, let's say, constraint of sharing is more in our minds than in the possibility, whether it's conceptual or technological. And this is one of the things to work with. Not everybody will agree on everything all the time. So I think that um, the uh, the consideration of what the majority and having it be a true majority of what it really wants and just a majority of people, not like the majority of AGIX token holders, <laughs> like, like as balanced towards that. If we start with a clearly defined, uh, net ambiguous, uh, role and activities, it will be very good. It's just important work. Sometimes it seems like, uh, well, it, it never ends. It never happens what we want it to be or it, it lasts longer, but I think it's important to, to do it. And I think if people can really see how it's supposed to work and how um, beneficial it can actually be to to govern an organization this way, I think it will serve as more motivation to get others to participate. Because they will actually have the sense that their voice matters. Having this uh, fluid and adaptable system is, is really key and it's a big challenge, but it's one that I think that uh, our ecosystem is up to. My experience uh, as a member and chairman of the supervisory council was very positive. Being able to see how Singularity Net uh, evolved, uh, uh, addressed and overcame uh, its challenges. And I am excited to see the candidates uh, that step up uh, in order to form the new council. So it is going to be uh, uh, beautiful and uh, I, am, uh, I am looking forward to be able to follow their work.